Hey guys, quick heads up. This video may seem a little bit out of order. I included a video of when I did the transmission service uh, showing a little bit of how the fluid looked, the old fluid looked and with the old pan and the magnets. So uh, just bear with me. I didn't really plan for that when I made the video, but I decided it was important enough to add it in the beginning of the video as a good uh, motivator of why you should be doing your, your transmission fluid uh, at the 44 45,000 mile mark uh you know my truck is on 35s but other than that it's mostly uh a hauler it's, i don't really do much towing it's towed a few times some about five six thousand pounds but other than that uh, it doesn't seem any extreme use but still the fluid looked quite bad so take a look at it enjoy watch the video and uh see you guys later Before I installed it, I uh, might as well let you guys see how the fluid looks at 44,000 miles. Pretty nasty. Um, even the magnets are pretty caked on with stuff. So, for you guys that think that it does not need it at this mileage, I would beg to differ. So... And of course, look how thin this little sheet metal is. It's just like a stamped sheet metal compared to the PPE one. So let's get this one bolted in and uh, let's get this party started. Hey everyone, this is Alex on Automotive and More. And today we're going to talk about the transmission upgrades uh, that I did to the truck. So recently... Uh, and recently I mean about a thousand miles ago what I did was I did um, the PPE deep pan I did the PPE transmission bypass and I did the PPE uh, larger transmission cooler for the truck along with that I put OEM transmission fluid the AC Delco stuff um, and I also put a new transmission filter my truck is at right now at 44,000 miles and change. So I was already in there, didn't see why not. I did a video on the parts list. If you guys wanna see every part needed with part numbers, links and all that good stuff, check out my other video on the ultimate transmission service for these trucks for the 10 L80. Uh, and you should have every part listed there that you need. So let's talk about the difference. So transmission is definitely cooler. Um, it stays on the highway around 160s, which I absolutely love. I think that's perfect. Uh, around town, the, as high as it gets is in the 170s. I haven't seen it get into the 180s yet. So absolutely perfect. Happy with that outcome. Uh, I live in a hot state. I don't really tow a lot, but I live in a hot state where, um, you know, keeping the fluid cool will definitely aid in the longevity of it. Along with keeping the fluid cool, now the system has a lot more fluid. The, the pan is carrying four more quarts. The transmission cooler is also larger. Um, so that's gonna aid into, you know, serviceability. The serviceability being easier, having a drain plug is definitely a plus for me to fill in fill in the, the transmission i don't have to drop the pan let's see if i can get a good enough shot here if this will focus will it focus if it doesn't guys i really apologize there we go so that's the the larger cooler and i'll give you hopefully i can get a decent enough shot i don't feel like dragging myself under the truck so whatever i can get from the from the edge is what you guys can see. I should have taken better pictures and stuff like that before. I did take a, a video. I'm gonna see if I add it somewhere on how bad the fluid is. I may add it to the end of this video. Uh, the fluid came out super brown. Uh, the magnets looked okay. They had debris, which is as expected at 40 something thousand miles, but nothing large. Just very small clutch material, which is pretty normal. So there you see the larger PPE pan. Um, thermostat bypass. It's almost flush. I don't like that it sticks out. I want to say like about half or a quarter of an inch under the frame. Not a fan of that. 
I wish they would have just made it, you know, a cut here, um, shallower, so it's at least level or stays under the frame. But not bad. I mean, I shouldn't be hitting it there anyways, and if it does, I will give this to PPE. That transmission pan does look uh, pretty heavy duty, so that shouldn't be an issue. So having the extra capacity, as you guys know, uh, lo more longevity for your fluid, uh, more fluid to to spread the load on and the debris and all that stuff, um, easier uh, to do service. You know, if you're just going to do a transmission oil change, now it should be a breeze in the future. You shouldn't have, be having to take off the pan. Uh, you know, next service, I'm not going to do a filter, so definitely not going to take off the pan. Um, also less fluid means longer warm up for the transmission. Um, now I know this may be a concern for a few people, but I'll tell you the good and the bad about it. So the good, yeah, definitely it takes your transmission longer to get up to operating temperature. Um, that also means that if you're doing extreme things, you know, towing, off-roading, all that stuff, having the more fluid um, capacity there is going to mean that it's going to be harder for the temperatures to spike in any way. Uh, so that's the, the good thing. Um, transmission temps, you know, warming up to 160s, 170s. I think that's absolutely perfect. I know a lot of people are worried about transmission damage for oil being too cool. I just don't see that as a problem with those temperatures. Many, many, many vehicles uh, run their transmission temps like that from the factory. I believe the gas trucks do run much cooler than the diesel ones. Diesel ones are uh, aimed for a fuel efficiency uh, market. So the hotter the fluid, the thinner it is, the more efficient it is. But you know running it at 170 160 150 that's not going to be any issue at all uh the bypass common failure for a lot of the older gm trucks i haven't heard too much of the newer ones having bypass issues where they get stuck closed um but or i think they also get plugged up once the transmission starts getting older has uh some issues which also uh, magnifies the issue even more because fluid isn't circulating through the cooler so that uh that is definitely great they also has an inspection port there with a magnet that whenever you do your fluid change you can take the inspection port rem uh, off remove all the debris that may be on that magnet and there you go you just have another area of maintenance there uh to help improve the life of your transmission and then the cooler obviously you know more it's holding more fluid it has way more surface area and that's going to aid into in it cooling now me i don't really as you guys can probably see i don't really have much of my active grill shutters left so it gets well ventilated um you know i'm a big um person on removing those active grill shutters if you're looking for maximum performance if you look at if you live in a very extreme cold environment probably wouldn't do it but again i'm in florida it probably gets here in the 30s you know a handful of days of uh of the year and then in the summer it's just 90s most of the time so i'm just modifying my truck to my environment so do I recommend everything I, I did? Absolutely. I think it was a great upgrade for my truck. Did I feel any difference? No. I mean, it's using the same fluid. The transmission didn't have any issues. I'm just doing, you know, I think as far as the transmission is concerned, it, it just thinks it's regular maintenance. It's, you know, just a fluid change at 44 or 43,000 miles whenever I did it. Um, so the transmission, you know, shifts as smooth as butter i have the ppei transmission tune very happy with it um felt no difference after the the um, the fluid change uh or the new parts everything just feels as good as normal uh, i just noticed you know when i look at the at the pids in the dash uh yeah it's definitely running much cooler than before and and that's 
that that was what my goal is is to run that that fluid cooler um and that's about it guys uh, give me your thoughts on it um i didn't i just had one extra quart of oil so i didn't get to do the transfer case so one of these weekends i'll do a video on the transfer case uh it's just a fill plug and a drain plug and it should be pretty easy but i'm very curious to see how the fluid is specifically because this truck has the four wheel drive auto and as you guys know having that auto feature means there's clutches there so there may be uh clutch material uh as a regular thing you know that comes out so not a bad thing i will do that service here in the upcoming month been slow to bring out the videos have a newborn in the house so that's been the main priority so the videos have been coming out very slowly so for that i apologize but uh they will be coming out here in the future so stay tuned if you haven't uh subscribed please subscribe to the channel uh if you have have any suggestions you know leave a comment i'll try to you know make videos according to your suggestions if you have any questions feel free to ask um and that is about it like and subscribe i appreciate it helps the algorithm and i'll see you guys on the next one